Brooke vs. Poor. Hey, mommy. I'm in trouble. My car broke down, and now my mechanic is calling practically my entire salary to fix it. Huh. So you're yeah, broke? I'm not broke. Do you even know what it means to be broke? Everyone knows what it means to be broke. <laughs> it's to be poor, right? Zuri is in her office, where she's supposed to be preparing a presentation she just found out about. She calls Tammy, the fresh fish who changed her mind when a guy's rich guy appeared. Zuri tells her about her car troubles and her mechanic, saying it will cost almost her entire salary to fix it. To which Tammy says, so you broke? Zuri says no. Then Tammy asks Zuri if she knows what being broke means. To which Zuri replies, everyone knows what to be broke means. It's to be poor, right? If you predicted that was a segue the writers were looking for to tell us the difference, go to the head of the class. The almighty writers speak through the next voiceover. Apparently, broke means if you lost your primary source of income today, you wouldn't be able to maintain the lifestyle you have become accustomed to because you have no assets to rely on. Great. Am I just the only one who was taught that when you're contrasting terms, you have to give the definition of each? What is to be poor then? Are the poor so insignificant as to not warrant a mere definition? If a person earning 20,000 Kenya shillings or 70,000 Naira or $160 per month lost that source of income, I doubt there's any universe in which they'd be able to sustain their lifestyle. Would that make them poor or broke? It was at this point that I decided this film was not about poor people at all and would make no effort to meaningfully engage with the impossibility of financial security and freedom for the poor. That's fine. From here on out, let's all keep in mind that this is a show about rich people and how they can stay rich and get richer. I hope we're on the same page going forward. No more expecting to hear anything about the poor and how they can improve their potential that it condition. One last thing before we focus on the rich. Sustain your lifestyle. I don't have a lifestyle. I have a day-to-day -day survival. Keep my head above water thing going as I furiously paddle beneath the surface like a cute little duck. Only rich people have a lifestyle or assets. Another indicator that this show is not about the poor, which is fine. From here on out, we're keeping that in mind. Like all other things in society, fuck the poor, focus on the rich.